Hello there fellow summoners, MadDogHT here, and we got a video to show the 2.1 boss in the Cavalier event quest this month, and that is Blade. And you know, first look, this doesn't seem too terrible. It's got the perforate node, makes everything unblockable on the specials, flux dispersal, life cycle, power shield, and power alternator. So first look, you're like, oh, it's just Blade, no problem. And you know, it just, it really depends on what kind of champion you bring. So first up, I brought in Archangel. And even though life cycle, I'm not going to get the damage from the bleeds and the poisons, I will get damage from the neurals because those are passives. And life cycle only turns off the damage from debuffs and uh, neurals are not um, debuffs, they're passives, and you get huge damage when you throw that special. And yeah, keep him to his special one because unless you're super comfortable evading his special two, which I know you can do that, um, then yeah, just keep him to the special one. Keep in mind the power alternator, and yeah, just go to town. So you can see. You get no bleed damage, but then when the neuros kick on, the neur you you will get the neuros. It will turn off the regen from the life cycle at the end, which is nice. And then basically you just need to get a knockdown. And if you get a knockdown with that neuro up, he's going to die. So you see he's not going to die here because there's no neuros. The bleeds aren't going to do anything. The poison isn't going to do anything. And so I'm just kind of like, okay, got to get another knockdown. And there we get a Neuro on the L1 and he goes down out for the count. And then we had a nice uh, long connection issue, sped that up, <laughs> Archangel flapping his wings. And yeah, so we get the solo with Archangel. So next up, we're gonna use a different champ. This one didn't work out as well. And again, we'll talk about why. So this one I was gonna use my rank three domino so i'm thinking oh she'll be fine and i and i you know on the archangel fight i wasn't really considering all the bleeds and the poison not doing any damage and so when i'm doing my special ones i'm you know every once in a while i'll get a bleed or whatever but the damage is just is just not there um even with being lucky and unlucky I just felt like the damage was really lacking on this fight and it went really really long and I did try to get to a special two once and then yeah it didn't it did not help that one I got tagged by the special one and um, none of those bleeds got purified um, by Domino's abilities to give me like the power gain and all that kind of stuff so I did a, I did one special two. It did 14% damage, which is is not is not great, you know, especially with power shield. So here we go. Un, we got unlucky and lucky going on, and we only did what six percent? It's just terrible. And um, yeah, I mean, I just keep I keep getting to special one, keep throwing them, and. Yeah, the damage is just not there. That one was that one was fairly decent. You do need to worry about the flux dispersal, so you want to make sure you you get some heavies in to make sure you can get max potential damage. Um, but all these notes working together, it actually makes this fight quite tricky. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend champions that can do passive damage. So. Archangel is one with his Neuros, Human Torch pre-fight um, with his Flame On Novas, he would be excellent, I didn't use him, um, Void, now Void, he has debuffs, but those are not damage over time debuffs from the Intimidating Presence, so you will get that that damage, um, and I will use him, he, he, he's my last option, um, I'm trying to think of who else has uh, passive damage. I think Ebony Maw could be really good with his degen because um, that's passive. But yeah, if, if there's a if there's a if there's a champ that you have on your roster that does passive 
damage over time, then I would highly recommend them as, a, as an excellent option for this. So we're, we're still going at it. Um, I do end up getting a call from my wife and it paused and it cut off my, um, my recording. I came back, unpaused it, recorded the rest, but it kind of threw off my flow and I do get a, a decent special two there, but then I'm going to die here, I believe. I think I push him. Yeah, I think I push him to special two by accident and that's it for me. I know, I know you can do like a dash back and then like a double dash back on the bullets and you can get a full evade. I've never mastered that. So if you have, that's awesome. And you can push them to L2 and not have to worry about it. Otherwise stick to the L1s because everything is unblockable with that uh, perforate node. So next up, we're just gonna try to finish this guy off and we're going in with Hulkbuster. I'm not gonna get any damage from the shocks and I'm just gonna try to heavy this guy down knock down that stun shield but again i think i accidentally push him to l2 before we kill him and we die again so this node this node can be definitely annoying um yeah, i think right here i think i heavy him because he's not throwing his special and i was thinking oh maybe it will not push him to l2 is just enough on the power bar but it's not going to be the case. I am going to heavy him and I am going to die. No, maybe it's on the next one. I, I'm pretty certain I do accidentally push him to special two or do I bleed to death? I think, I think I will power it out. No, I just die. Yeah, never mind. I thought I got special two, but that was earlier. So I just died and then I go in with warlock. So warlock's a, a solid option for this fight, you you can um, get the passive degen if you hit into his block, um, and that will also power drain blade because he's going to be regening. Will block it, and you'll get those drains from him trying to regen with infection up, and then infection is going to prevent the heal. And yeah, you can see there. Um, we, we take him down and then next up we're gonna go in with I think we're going in with saber tooth or do we use somebody else I'm trying to remember let's see who is on my team oh no in this next one we're gonna actually use professor X um, yeah so and just one note, side note, for the pass, Hulkbuster is an absolute monster on this whole quest. He, he just destroys it, a lot of fun, lots of damage, lots of shock damage, lots of furies, ends in like 15 hits, and a lot of those are heavies, and you just special two and they're just dead. So um, if you're having trouble with the unblockable part, Hulkbuster is, is a solid, solid option. And so for this one, we're just going to try to burst this guy down with some um, special ones, trying to build up some prowess. And I think I think we take Blade down in about 80 hits or so. It's definitely not quick, um, but it works. And I think, I think the prowesses that I have end up falling off because I'm not getting enough... Um, power gain with the power alternator and I miss converting on like right there so I miss converting my opportunity to refresh those uh, prowess and yeah but Professor X will work well because those prowesses are going to build up if you can keep them refreshed and the damage that you get from power shield is pretty decent from his uh, special ones and yeah um and you can get them locked down you know when you have your all of your hundred charges get them into mind control which is kind of nice so you know right now it's kind of it's kind of frustrating there's a new a number of times where blade just went really really passive and um 
yeah so there I missed I missed my opportunity again power alternator hosed me and took my power when I was going to heavy charge and throw and refresh those prowess yeah so yeah it can be if you, there's 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 quite a bit to keep track of um, and if you let him get to special two it's not good especially if you're not bleed immune um, so again I just really highly recommend any champion that you have that can do passive damage over time um, so something that's not directly from uh, debuffs I think also Dr. Voodoo would be would be pretty excellent you can spam a bunch of L1s and those neuros are gonna put in a bunch of work they're gonna have super high damage from the power shield and they will block the healing at the end and um, you just need that knockdown get that uh, life cycle shield down and you'll be ready to go and yeah so we're, we're coming closer to taking this guy out um, but yeah it's just it's you know I probably could have built to a special two and bursted him down but again you also need to just do the regular knockdown so you got to do a heavy knockdown first knock down the shield and then do your special or have some type of passive damage over time going for you so right there it was just not enough damage which is unfortunate so we're going to try to get back to another special one get the heavy knockdown launch it off and it should take him out yeah i needed the knockdown first so that's the thing is you got to get that heavy knockdown because your special knockdown doesn't apply to the life cycle until the last hit of the special so that was kind of unfortunate should have should have been able to kill him off there but i wasn't uh, so there we get a knockdown we get the unblockable and boom blade finally goes down so now this next fight was not ideal i thought maybe the damage would be pretty decent um but it it was it was not we're gonna go in with my rank two saber tooth no synergies no prior build up and that was probably just a mistake and an oversight miscalculation on my part i thought i thought his special ones after getting some furies and stuff would actually be doing a, a decent chunk of damage and it's just not and the bleeds that i get are not going to get any extra damage because um the life the life cycle is going to prevent prevent that damage so i'm gonna let this play out i do end up dying right at the very very end um but this goes for like 200 and 50 plus hits or something just to get blade down towards really really I think I I think I died somewhere sub 10% sub 5% health on on blade but um yeah you really really need somebody that can put out huge damage on the special ones which is not typical um or that can put out some type of passive damage over time and it has to be passive because the uh, life cycle is going to prevent any damage from any debuffs from poison bleeds shock whatever that are actual debuffs so make sure they're passive and you should be good to go i'm gonna let this play out if you want to watch it it's it's super long fight you can see that i'm not getting very much damage on those uh, special ones even after knocking down the the flux dispersal um shield counters um if you do a heavy and then the first hit on the heavy will reset those charges so if you do a heavy and you can connect that into a special one that would be ideal so you can get the max damage possible but um yeah this this note combination is kind of annoying you you really need um a specific kind of champ and while any champ can do it it just takes really really long um so yeah i'll see you at the end of this fight
All right, we're coming to the end. Um, you know, we did get hit once. We're, we are going to get hit again here shortly. Yeah, this is a if you if you don't bring the right champ, man, this this is just a it's just a brutally long fight, super drawn out. Um, so definitely, definitely bring somebody that does passive damage over time. That is the key to this fight. And you'll see, we get him down to 2%. And I hear, I think I hear I mess up on the special one of aid. I think on this next one. So we got him all the way down to 2%. I don't know, we just, we just get comboed. And then we get special one. Yeah. So we're going to come back in and tap over blade with warlock warlock is a is an is an option to use here just simply because he has that infection it can prevent the life cycle heal and once that is prevented he's also going to get a degen associated with that when your warlock is awakened and yeah so i think i'm just going to do get him to infection and then heavy him and one more heavy and i think he's gonna go down with the infection degen yeah there we go reversal so warlocks is a is a is a good option to finish him off if you're going to use somebody else warlock would be okay um for the regular fight but not not great i don't think so next up last attempt we're gonna go in with void so even though damage over time um do zero damage with life cycle uh voids intimidating presence debuffs are not damage over time they are a different type of debuff um where voids ability does the damage versus a normal like bleed poison shock uh debuff effect so when i hit him with a special one i'm going to get decent damage from the power shield and i will get amped up damage from the power shield so you can see like i was doing like 90 per tick yeah 90 per tick for one debuff and when i threw the special one it amped up that debuff damage or the intimidating presence damage up to like 580 per tick so when you get a couple of those going, um, yeah, you can really do some decent damage. And then when he's under 70%, you can hit into the block. And with Void, if you have the Petrifies and the Fear of the Void up, you can also reverse his power and um, reverse that healing, which is also um, pretty nice. So you can get some decent damage there. And the one nice thing is you can just constantly be getting some form of damage pretty much the whole fight with those intimidating presence debuffs and with your parry stuns so void is a is a great option here even though it's class disadvantage uh void void can put in some decent work against blade and you know he doesn't have danger sense active or anything like that so you don't have to worry about that with void being a villain so um so yeah we're we're now we're under 70% so you can hit into the block. I have double fear of the void up and I think I do hit into the block a little bit later. So there, yeah, we didn't have any, um, didn't have any power to reverse on that one. I think this next set we're going to start tapping into the block and reversing some, some of that regen and power draining. So, um, Think right here he's going super passive so there's there are several times where he would go super passive he's he's not throwing his special you don't want to get him to a special two I think I start hitting into his block after I get tagged I do get tagged and the bleeds aren't quite um, strong enough to kill me I do survive willpower saves me for sure um, I think here I start hitting into the block and Void's also great with life cycle because he can reverse that healing and kill kill the opponent there now we're hitting to the block getting some regen reversal and I think I do it again 
or I tried to. I think he's going to go back. There we go. So we're getting some regen reversal. We're getting some power drain as well. And yeah, that works. And we're just going to get him knocked down. And I think one more special one I think I do end up throwing. And we're going to take him down super, super close on the health. Only 11% taking some chip damage each. Um, parry. And does he go down? Yep, he goes down right there. So hopefully this helped. Thanks for watching, fellas. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.